I'll give the floor to Nora Uheya, Board Vice President of IFFD, to deliver some opening remarks. Distinguished delegates, participants, esteemed guests, on behalf of the International Federation for Family Development, I am honored to address you today at this side event on young families and climate anxiety. I would like to start by acknowledging the sponsorship and collaboration of the Division on Inclusive Social Development of the United Nations Department of Social Development, as well as the co collaboration and presence of two IFFD awardees, the Government of Kenya and the Doha International Family Institute. As we commemorate the 30th anniversary of the International Year of the Family, it is crucial to recognize the unique challenges faced by young families amid climate change. IFFD has been at the forefront of initiatives to support and empower young families, and we have taken significant steps to prepare for this milestone anniversary. Today, we close a cycle reviewing the megatrends suggested by the United Nations Secretary General. We present our activities to better prepare the anniversary, including the climate change related outcome of the European Youth Statement and the Civil Society Declaration for the 30th anniversary of the International Year of the Family, both underscoring the importance of resilience building and sustainable solutions. Number one. Promoting Resilience Within Young Families. IFFD has been promoting resilience within young families by providing them with the necessary tools, resources, and support systems. Through our various programs and initiatives, we have focused on strengthening family bonds, enhancing communication skills, and fostering adaptive coping mechanisms. By equipping young families with resilience building strategies, we aim to empower them to navigate the challenges posed by clim climate change and foster a sense of hope and stability. Number two, climate change education and awareness. IFFD recognizes the importance of climate change education and awareness in empowering young families to take action. We are developing comprehensive educational materials, workshops, and training programs to highlight the impact of climate change on families and provide practical solutions for sustainable living. By raising awareness and promoting environmental consciousness, we empower young families to make informed decisions and contribute to mitigating the impacts of climate change. Number three, strengthening support networks. IFFD understands the vital role of support networks in helping young families cope with climate anxiety. We have a global network of family support centers, online platforms, and community-based initiatives that provide a safe space for young families to share experiences, to seek guidance, and to access resources. By fostering supportive environments, we enhance the well-being of young families and promote social cohesion in the face of climate challenges. Number four, advocacy and policy engagement. IFFD actively engages in advocacy and policy dialogue to ensure the voices and concerns of young families are heard at the international level. We have collaborated with governments, NGOs, and other stakeholders to advocate for policies that prioritize the well-being and resilience of young families in the context of climate change. By amplifying their voices, we strive to create an enabling environment that supports young families and addresses their unique needs, especially in family formation and parenting support. Number five, Civil Society Declaration for the 30th Anniversary. As part of our preparations for the 30th anniversary of the International Year of the Family, IFFD has led together with other transnational partners a civil society declaration that highlights the importance of the family and social development, including climate change policy recommendations. This declaration, endorsed by numerous civil society organizations, emphasizes the need for a comprehensive support systems, climate change education, mental health services, and inclusive policy frameworks. 
It calls for collective action to address the cha challenges faced by young families and promotes sustainable solutions for a resilient future. In conclusion, the International Federation for Family Development is committed to supporting young families and addressing climate change anxiety. Through our advocacy efforts, we strive to empower young families, strengthen their resilience, and promote sustainable development. As we celebrate this milestone, let us work together to create a world where young families thrive, climate anxiety is alleviated, and sustainable development is achieved. Thank you.